This HUROM how-to guide explains configuring NPS for multiple SSIDs and shows sending only EduRoam requests to EduRoam servers and configuring the connection request policy for the EduRoam NRPS group. Right, this little video is just an extension of the previous video in this series, which is configuring uh, NPS. In this instance, if you are running multiple wireless networks and you want to make sure that you only allow your EduRoam users to be authenticated when they come through the wireless, uh, through the uh, EduRoam SSID, you uh, do this. So I am going to just log myself into this server. Now, as you can see from the previous video, we have three policies that drive uh, NPS here. Now, what you want to do is you have your EduRoam users on campus, and you may want to adjust this. Um, you can see that we literally only matched on the username. Now, there are some organizations like, like uh, the NHS and some local authorities, for example, who will also provide um, wireless access to other networks such as GovRoam or GovWiFi. And you do not really want to send the requests for those networks to EduRoam. So what you do is you check this specific policy that sends all the EduRoam users that are visiting you um, on campus, and you just add something here. And in doing so, as I said in the previous video, you have something called the called station ID. Which you can find here in the gas in the um, gateway section. The called station ID generally contains a MAC address, which is the specific identifier, the, the MAC address for the access point that they are at, followed by a colon, followed by the SSID name. Now, sometimes the SSID name uh, is not included, but rather the profile name. So um, some network access uh, wireless solutions will use their profile name there. What you may want to do there is just to choose the correct profile here. So what you then do is you use pattern matching again. And in my instance, I am just going to match the actual SSID, which is at your own, followed by the dollar. So that effectively says, I will match only what ends with edge row. And just to be more specific, I'm going to do this uh, so that I say, if the called station ID matches colon edge row. Now for other networks, you may want to do the same thing. So if you are using GovRoam, you may want to do the same for GovRoam that you send GovRoam requests to the GovRoam servers. If you are using GovWiFi, you will probably do the same with Gov Wi-Fi. So you simply click on OK. Now both of these uh, conditions have to match. And I would strongly suggest that you do this because we have found that uh, we are being sent requests from users that have simply selected any other network um, that is available at your location. Now, this is uh, not appropriate. Your uh, your other Wi-Fi networks are probably for other uh, purposes, like I don't know, college uh, dash staff or college dash protected. Uh, you don't want to have visitors on this network because this network happens to be um, your protected network. Wire wireless, uh, sorry, uh, EduRoam visitors should be restricted to a specific network, and you do it this way. So you click on apply and you click on OK. So what will now happen is this will match your users. This will try and match your users coming from us. This will then match um, users specifically on the EduRoam network and uh, that, and they will be sent to us. And because anything that does not match these, these three policies will be dropped and they will be denied access. And that concludes that.